So hi everyone and welcome to this video on getting inst uh, installing the data logging for RFX2. So the first thing you need to do um, is download the DAMP plugin for RFX2. I'll put a link in the uh, description of the video. But essentially it will be a link to this page. If you scroll down uh, you've got uh, two auto install files and two manual install files here. If you go for the latest version of the or, uh, the one that says RF Damp Plugin Handler and it's at V09 at the moment. So let it download that and then uh, it says it files here, extract it and then run it. Um, it's not got a signature so you need to just run it as an admin and let it install. Okay now it's important here to um, read these instructions carefully because there's a little trick one. So it's the first two are yes and the third one is no and then finish. Uh, right now if you go to add you should automatically detect R factor 2 and then if you highlight the path and click install it will install it in the right place in the R factor directory okay the next thing to do is to fire up R factor 2 and just have a little drive around basically it needs um, the plugin to start working before you can um, tweak what channels are recorded so for just literally drive down the pit lane here just to record a little bit of data and then we can back out of and exit out of our facts too So now we need to find the uh, any file for for it. So if you go to the RFX2 directory, I've, it creates a log directory. This is where you'll find the um, your data. But now what we want to do is search the RFX2 directory for dam plugin dot any. and open that file in notepad and what you've got here is the option to turn um, some ch different channels on and off so that you record more or less data uh, you also get the opportunity to select whether it's a male or female voice that tells you that, that the data login is working So if we scroll down to the bottom where it says extra channel config, uh, everywhere that's, well I see here the base channels which are more simplified data, have all turned on to ones so that means they're collecting the data and the extra channels at the moment are all put at zero so they're not collecting data. So if we change these zeros to one we'll get the full range of channels available in the analysis. I haven't bothered, I'm not going to bother turning on the scoring channels. Um, but the other ones um, may have data that's of interest. Okay, save that and then exit. Oh, I'll just change that one as well. Yes, yeah, so save and exit.
So the next thing is to download the Motec i2 Pro software, which is a free download from the uh, Motec website. Uh, again, the link is in the description. And you want the, the one that's listed at the top, the latest version, Pro 64-bit. Okay, and then run the installer. accept the terms okay so now just a quick demonstration of how to get into i2 you need to set up a uh, sort of an analysis default sheet so if we choose circuit next next and finish and there we go you're in with to the main analysis screen in order to uh, open the data go to open log file and now you need to navigate to that log file that was created in the rfx2 directory which will be under steam apps common R factor 2 and then log if I can see it yeah there you go on the log it will default to there now and there you go that's the little bit of data that we collected so that shows um, RPM speed throttle position and lateral, lateral and longitudinal g-forces uh, if you click on the side menus here the first one shows you uh, what lap you're on from the session you can choose different laps from different sessions the next one is channels it shows you the full list of channels that are available we'll do a video that goes through this in more detail Is that? Uh, and then you've got some tabs across the top which display different information because we didn't record a full lap of data here, there's not a lot to show but like I say I'll do an, another video with um, more details so uh, that's about it thanks for watching like and subscribe cheers